Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I know I have not been very active on YouTube lately. Uh, between traveling, uh, work, and things that are going on right now in, in my personal life, um, I just haven't been able to get to videos a lot. But I have been posting on Telegram frequently, so I'm going to say it again. If you don't have Telegram, it's free. It'll be in the description box. Uh, click the link. Uh, like I said, it doesn't cost you anything. I'm just able to keep up a lot more on there with salvation messages, uh, things that are going on as it pertains to end times Bible prophecy. So that link will be in the description box. So if you don't have a Telegram, uh, please consider joining just because, again, I've got a lot going on lately and I can post a lot more on there. But folks, today I want to discuss several reasons why the next few weeks are critical to where we are headed in regards to end times Bible prophecy. I'm going to be reading several recent articles, the headlines, right? Uh, tons of different sources reporting on this, but I'm going to go over all this with you guys. This is just some of the things I want to get to. There is so much going on so fast. A recent one, Iran can make Fissile material for a bomb in about 12 days, referring to a nuclear weapon. Now, we've been hearing for a while about how close Iran is to getting a nuclear weapon, uh, a nuclear bomb, excuse me. But recently, and in the coming weeks, it looks like we are at a critical point right now. And so that was the first article headline. Iran can make fissile material for a bomb in about 12 days. And then this comes uh, right after that. Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, the current prime minister of Israel, is readying for, readying for a strike on Iran's nuclear facilities. Again, this is something we've also been hearing about for a while, but we're at a critical point right now in the next few weeks for this to possibly occur. In fact, there has been several secret meetings over the past few weeks between Netanyahu and leaders from the Defense and Intelligence Ministries of Israel. Folks, they are getting ready to strike Iran's nuclear facilities. And once that occurs, things are going to go to a whole new level. Another headline just came out, which says, The Iranian Army and the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, the IRGC, staged a joint air defense exercise across Iran to be ready for a possible airstrike on their nuclear sites. So Israel's getting ready to strike Iran's nuclear facilities, and Iran is preparing for this Israeli strike. They know it's coming. So that's the first thing in the next few weeks, folks, that we need to keep, keep our eyes on is the uh, possible continued preparations and possible strike of uh, Iran's nuclear facilities. The next thing, we just passed the one-year anniversary of Russia invading Ukraine, and now we have threats from Putin, Vladimir Putin, to escalate the conflict even more, even with the threats of nuclear exchange between Ukraine and even the NATO nations. Anybody that is supplying Ukraine with weapons, uh, supplies, aid, whatever, Russia is threatening, including the United States, we have the threats of nuclear exchange. And um, basically they're saying it's a declaration of war against Russia uh, for anybody that is supplying Ukraine with ammo, uh, weapons, etc. So we have that going on. Also, a recent headline, Israeli-Arab violence is on the verge of major eruption. We have Ramadan coming up, folks, which is the Muslim holy month, which actually is going to start March 22nd, coming up here in a, a couple weeks. March 22nd, 2023 to April 21st of 2023 is going to be the Muslim month, holy month, of Ramadan, and it is looking to be a very violent one and with a major increase in terror attacks in Israel. So not only do we have Ramadan coming up with a major uptick of terror attacks in Israel expected, but also we, have, we are seeing continued secret meetings between Hamas, Islamic Jihad, Fatah, and Hezbollah. The surrounding enemies of Israel, we are seeing secret meetings take place. They're coordinating together, folks, because what we're looking at here 
is a coordination of the surrounding enemies of Israel to strike Israel. They are plotting to come against Israel. That's also something we need to be watching in the next few weeks. The next thing, earthquake activity is off the charts. Since the earthquake in Turkey a couple weeks ago, which I believe the death toll is over 50,000 now. Um, I think that was the last report I saw. It could be more. We have major seismic unrest going on right there in that area, the Turkey, Syria, that whole region. Major seismic unrest is still going on there. And actually all over the world, we're seeing a massive uptick in earthquake activity. So it would not surprise me if we see another major earthquake around the Turkey area or other parts of the world in the coming weeks. Folks, that's only a few things that I'm looking at here in the next few weeks. That's why I believe the next few weeks are critical in regards to where we are headed um, regarding end times Bible prophecy. But the most important thing above all else is if you don't know Jesus Christ, if you're not saved and you're watching this video right now, just look around you. Look at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says and you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive and Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Now, what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him. Forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. But the bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming. And he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.